When we're working on that shoulder internal rotation, one of the common motions that happens with that is internal rotation and extension of that shoulder. Those two go together, and if we don't have those combination of internal rotation and extension, then we're going to be having a lot of difficulty as we try to do a, a upright pull or we try to do any sort of a, uh, a dip or a ring dip type of motion because it's going to make that shoulder blade really shift forward and our shoulder blade should stay back onto our rib cage as we're going through that motion. So one of the ways that we can do that is we can take a PVC or a dowel or whatever you have or golf club works fine and as I put it behind my back and I grab it kind of close to my butt for starters, I don't need to be way up high with it, what I want to do is now I'm going to take my top hand and I'm going to pull it forward. So I'm going to create a lever that's going to bring my hand away from my back. And that's all that stretch is. Now, if I find that as I do that, if my shoulder blade really dumps forward, well then I'm getting scapular motion and really what I'm trying to do is get shoulder motion. Right? So I want to keep that shoulder blade back and that way it's lined up. Now as that gets a little more challenging, I can reach my hand higher up and create a little bit more of a lever with that. I can also, while I'm here, do the belt stretch or the towel stretch where I'm holding that PVC and as I pull up with this hand, I'm going to reach that hand up my back a little bit more. Just make sure that when we're doing this, that that shoulder blade stays back, that we're not lifting up because we're dumping that shoulder blade forward. It should stay tight to our ribcage throughout the motion.